fams, welcome back to my channel. So today I am taking part in a friend's hop for Christmas in July. I will tell you so much more about that in a little bit, but I just wanted to let you know you, some of you may have seen these videos and some of you may have not. I went ahead and compiled five of my favorite Christmas in July DIYs that I did here um, in July and put it into this video. I absolutely love and enjoy these DIYs and I know that some of you did as well. So I want you to go ahead, sit back, relax, grab a cup of hot cocoa and let's get DIYing you guys. Chilling right under the tree Stay outdoors, a different kind of date I'm all yours and I can hardly wait Come along, start the show Having fun in the snow So my first DIY is a personal name tags. Um, I originally created this as an ornament but a few of you gave me such a great idea to use it on our stockings for Christmas. So basically that is what I am going to be using it for. Some personalization of our stockings. And I'm just making them out of bows, buttons, and um, some Dollar Tree decals. A very good year, it's just you and me. Chilling right under the tree. Today, I am so excited to be teaming up with nine talented friends for a Christmas in July friend hop. If you aren't familiar with a friend hop, let me go ahead and explain it to you. So at the end of our video, there will be a link down in the description box. When you click on that link and go to the next person, she will then show you her crafts and at the end of her video, she will provide a link in her description box for you to hop over to the next friend. After you have gone through all of those links, it will come back around to the first person that is in this hop. This is such a fun way to check out other creators here on YouTube and find lots of Christmas ideas. These ladies, I'm telling you guys, they are all so fabulous and each one of them has their own unique style and everything. I just know that you are going to love them all. So go ahead, check them out, give them some love, and please let them know that I sent you over. So if you are new here to my channel and you are coming over from the hop, hello, welcome, my name is Shoshana. I have two channels here on YouTube. My main channel, which you are watching, is Regal Designs by Shoshana. And I do a lot of crafts and DIYs here, home and seasonal decor, and I dabble in some thrifting. I upload every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 noon on this channel. And then I have my cleaning channel, The Cleaning Queen. I do a lot of cleaning motivation, organization, and decluttering. And I upload every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 12 noon. So I would love for you to go ahead and consider subscribing to my channels. And don't forget to hit those bell so that you receive all my notifications. Be sure to check out the next friend at the end of this hop. So now I am cutting some scraps from a material that I have. 
here um and i'm going to be making a wreath just a small wreath because i'm going to be placing it on that little green board there i'm going to be making a sign but i'm going to be using um this wreath that i am making to place on top of the sign so i'm just using scrap pieces of materials um a ribbon and kind of just making knots tying it on to the ribbons so that i can have the shape of the wreath Ocean. Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling is going to help me stencil um this sign because i want it to have a warm and cozy wintry vibe i don't just want to be able to use it for christmas i also want to be able to use it for the entire winter and i just wanted to have a nice warm and cozy um vibe to it but i am going to go ahead and stencil it with some red paint and yeah, get this project underway. Yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in the I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby this year And this is what it looks like you guys It turned out so nice Um this is why it's one of my favorites because it's so simple but it still gives that feeling of warmth and cozy which is what I am going for here in my home for Christmas. I want to do traditional colors. I want to do warm and cozy. You know, I want my family to feel safe and warm 
Um, and as we cozy up by the fireside and drink hot chocolate and talk about life and the season, I just want that to be so evident in my home this year for Christmas. So we're moving on to the next project. And this project, I am going to be making another signage, but this is going to be a countdown to Christmas calendar. And I'm going to be using a few different kind of paints, which is from the Waverly collection that I purchased from Walmart. And I love these paint because they're so versatile and they're really, really strong paint. Like they really don't chip at all. And I've used them so many times before and I just absolutely love these paint. So I am going to use a box cutter and I'm using a foam board from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be cutting that down to size. These are scrap pieces of wood that I have from some of my projects. Um, for, for, for those of you that are coming over from the hop for um, visiting my channel for the first time, I am a woodworker. I am a, I'm a novice woodworker, I should say. Um, and I do build furniture and make things with my hands. I absolutely love it. And so I just wanted to use some scrap pieces of wood and create this um, countdown to Christmas signage. Mm -hmm. Just you and nobody else. It's so good to see you again. To see you again. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me.
I've got a mistletoe. So this is what my countdown to Christmas calendar looks like. I love it. I think that it turned out really, really pretty. Um, I went ahead and I used a Sharpie to write in the numbers because I couldn't find my small um, stencil brush. And I also went ahead and made this little tassel from scrap pieces of material, a uh, ribbon, and that's actually a thumbtack um, that I'm using to hold over the numbers. So now I am heading to create one of my favorite projects. I love making pillow coverings for my pillows, but instead of me sewing it, I actually hot glue my pillows and surprisingly it it really does hold up to the craziness that is in my home when it comes to my kids playing and tossing the pillows all over the house and sitting on them and laying on them they really do hold up very very well um i do wash my pillows at the the pillow coverings at the end of every season um and they do hold up very well as long as i really really get the glue very very strongly in there they do hold up and i'm able to reuse them for the next season now i do have a sewing machine but i just choose to hot glue them do a no sew because it's just a lot easier than pulling out my sewing machine and getting it done so i hope that you guys like this project um, and i hope that you are enjoying the video so far and i am so excited to just be a part of this pop so friends don't forget to uh, check out the description box for all the links that i'm going to have there um and the link for the next friend in this hop that you can go ahead and check out her video and then from her description box you can check out the next friend in this hop guys i am so excited about this christmas in july i just love the way that these pillows turned out they just so cozy and just uh they look so high end um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you would consider subscribing and leave your comments down below. Double tap the bell for new notifications and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.